This is that one in a lifetime. Good morning, friends. It's currently 11 a.m. Cheers. I just got ready and now I'm eating breakfast. I'm just eating my classic Oikos yogurt with granola and frozen blueberries. Mm, so good. I have my first ever class today. Technically last week was supposed to be my first day of school, but I didn't have any classes. So I just followed Justin to all of his classes. But today I actually have my first like in-person class. So I'm kind of excited. After I eat this yogurt, I'm gonna go run actually, cause I wanna run before I actually start my day. I'm starting my day so late, but literally senioritis is going to be so bad this semester. I basically have not done any work so far. I don't know. I just am still in like summer mode. I don't feel like studying or doing anything related to school, but need to fix that soon. Hey, I'm just going to be eating this while I watch some YouTube and I'll see you guys after. The days are drifting slowly. Hi friends, I wanted to take a quick pause and thank Case Q for sponsoring today's video. Case Q is a phone case company and I literally live by their phone cases. Let me just say your girl is clumsy and I drop my phone at least like three times in a day. But what's great about their phone case is that they provide military grade drop protection. After using their phone cases, I don't have to worry about getting any scratches on my phone. I think the coolest feature that they have to offer is their magnetic ring. I am someone who has to watch YouTube while they eat and so what's great about their ring is that you can literally prop your phone up I used to buy a phone stand so I can watch YouTube videos while I eat but whenever I go on campus or I'm at a restaurant I can't just bring my phone holder so it's been so convenient to just have this ring also I film and post on TikTok religiously and what's great about this phone case is that I don't have to balance my phone against like another surface I can literally just take out the ring and prop it on any surface not only can you open the stand but you can also rotate it through 360 degrees so if this is more comfortable for you you can turn it and this also creates a different angle for your phone so depending on what you prefer you can twist the ring for your convenience you know those pop sockets that used to trend like a few years back to help you hold on to your phone better but whenever i use pop sockets they will literally fall off my phone case within a few days but this ring is literally stuck to your phone so i literally never drop it and the design is so sleek and clean like I love how it comes in a matte clear finish. Plus it doesn't yellow, so I don't have to worry about my phone case looking gross. Anyways, if you guys are interested in getting yourself a phone case or any of your loved ones, check out my description box down below and I'll have the links to my phone cases. Again, literally life savior. Also, is this pink one not the cutest color ever? The classic black can never go wrong. Thank you so much to Case Coo for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's head back into the rest of today's video. So I actually wanted to do a quick haul because yesterday I went to Japantown and I got stuff for my matcha set and I'm so so excited. I haven't been making matcha in a while and I also still don't have my matcha powder yet but it's being sent but I just got the stuff for it for now. Obviously just had to get the whisk and what is this? Oh I also got my whisk holder. So cute. I love this color. Also got my matcha scooper. Last but not least had to get my matcha bowl. I literally love this color. It just spoke to me when I was in Japan town. I was looking at all the options and this one was the prettiest. I love like this design. Yeah, there were other ones where it had a little more this rusty red on it, but I loved how subtle this one was. Anyways, so, so excited. Maybe I'll make some matcha content. I really want to try out different matcha powders. Just have never done that before. My friend who actually got me into matcha just told me like this one brand was really good and I just stuck to it. But now I kind of want to explore and see the different matcha powders. So, so excited for that anyways i'm gonna go run now I'm gonna change into my fit Ta -da! basically the same fit but i just changed my joggers for my nike shorts and just wearing a tank top headphones i love running especially when it's sunny because in berkeley it can be cloudy and it rains a lot so i want to take advantage of the weather and try to run as much as i can there is like a track trail at one of the dorms so i typically just run there but yeah gonna go run now I always knew we'd never be the same It was wrong the way we ended things We were always in a different place 
Was it wrong the way I walked away? You've been stuck in my head for like over a minute. I'm stressing and questioning. Guys, I just finished running and I'm so red and I'm so tired. Just going home now, goes. Hi friends, I just finished running and showering in a, whoa, I look like a lion, but I'm going to make a quick stop at Chase to get coins so that I can do laundry. Just changed into a really simple, quick fit, baggy black parachute pants. They're so comfy. I know they're like going out of style, out of trend, but it's like a quick casual fit and just a regular white tank top. Also want to pull out my new shoes today. These are the Puma. Um, I don't know what style this is. They're the Puma Club. I usually, okay, so this is what it looks like. I usually hate thick gum soles, like this. I, I hated this style. But for some reason, for some reason, when I saw these at the Puma store, I just really liked them. Okay, honestly, it might have just been because I wore a pretty good fit that day. So literally any shoe would have matched with that fit. But I don't know. It just kind of like looked good and I wanted it. So I got it. Got these two days ago on Labor Day, but I'm gonna pull them out for today. And I was just looking for new white sneakers. I used to have the Nike Dunks, but they became so messed up. I think I threw them away. They used to be my clubbing shoes. Ooh, guys, they look so good. Like, I don't know why. Why do I like the gum soles when I hated them so much? Do you guys see it? Is it even focusing? Do these not look so good? Wow, I'm so zoomed in. Anyways, just wanted to show you guys my new shoes because I'm so excited about them. But enough with the rambling. I'm gonna go get my coins. Quick detour. I was gonna go get coins, but he needs to get his pants tailored, so I decided to follow him. Oopsies. But afterwards, I'll go get my coins. Oopsie daisies. Got my quarters. Got your phone. Hi friends, I just got my quarters and now I'm gonna be putting it all in this pouch. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I love Kuromi quarters. And then I need to do laundry because I have a full stack. I feel like I have no clothes right now. That's a lie, but still. Third one, last one. Yay! Okay, let's go do some laundry. I fell in love with it. Hey. Hey. Now I'm haunted by a shadow. Just wanna start a battle. I fell in love with a bad hoe when it broke my heart, and now I'm haunted by her shadow. She told me, boy, you a asshole. You know that's a lie, you just wanna start a battle. I fell in love. You guys. The most exciting package just came, and I'm so 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 excited. You guys don't even know. Oh my gosh. I have been waiting for this beauty. Let's open her up. This literally came at the most perfect time because I have class in like two hours and now I can carry this to my classes. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Oh my gosh. Feels like Christmas right now. So first, they gave stickers. If you guys can't really tell, I got the Samo Ando. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's Hamo, it's Hamo Ando. It's a Korean brand, but it's actually so cute. Okay, let me let me just open her up instead of yapping so much. Two layers of protection for this little girl. <gasps> Oh my gosh. You guys, she is absolutely adorable. Wait, how do I do this? So I got this Hamel Ando um, utility tote bag and I need to fix the straps, but you guys, this is so freaking adorable. Okay, let me, let me do the straps so you guys can fully see its potential. So I've been eyeing for different tote bags. I wanted a tote bag that I could also wear like post-college because I only have one semester left. Obviously this is still like not that professional. It's like it's a utility bag. I still think this is great just for traveling. I believe they have two different sizes, a medium and a large. And medium is more like a shoulder bag and large is like a regular tote bag. Fits my laptop, which is what I wanted. It's like a belt and I looped it onto the third circle. You guys, I'm literally gonna wear this tote bag to class today. What I loved about this bag is that there's a lot of different compartments and it just helps me organize everything a little better. But there's two little front pouches here. Maybe I can put like something quick that I can access like lip balm or something. The zipper is so smooth. It also has like a water bottle pouch which is really nice. The inside just looks like this. It's just empty but 
there's like one little zipper and you can put like your wallet and stuff there oh my gosh you guys i'm so excited adorable okay now let me add a keychain it's a jelly cat and i initially put her on like one of my purses but i want her to have more exposure so cute look at her i'm gonna add more keychains to like accessorize it and make it more me but anyways i'll be carrying her all around campus i need to get my clothes from the dryer and then i'm gonna organize that and then i have class in an hour so it's currently 4 p.m Hey friends, I just got home from class and now I'm going to be eating dinner and also drinking water. I'm just eating this Costco salad. It's Santa Fe dressing. I've been craving salads, so this is like perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Comes with chicken, cheese, corn, chips, and this sauce. Guys, that class was so bad. Or it wasn't that bad. It could have been worse, but it was pretty boring and I had like nothing to do. Well, obviously I could have listened to my professor, but I don't know. It was kind of boring. Also, my professor kind of sounds like James Charles. After I came to that realization, I couldn't not hear it. The entire time I was like, oh my gosh. I feel like huh? James Charles was my professor. Anyways, gonna be eating this while watching some YouTube, of course. Love my phone case because I can watch YouTube videos easier. Eating an apple. Oh, and more water. Yay, but apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 